All right, not much of a video today. Uh, I'm starting a new piece. It's going to involve two figures. <sighs> just don't know what kind of uh, piece I'm going to do yet. I just, I'm going to start the figures and go from there. But what I'm going to be doing is making the armature for it. And uh, I show how to make uh, armatures for humans on several of my instructional videos and I'm not going to do it here and uh, so I'll come back if I get clay on started on the, the armatures I don't know um, I don't know if I'll have time because it takes time to make the armatures time to play with some clay All right, I'm just uh, straightening out my uh, wire. It's aluminum wire that I got from uh, Sculpture Depot. It's a eighth inch wire, aluminum wire. By the way, I'm gonna insert a little self promo right here and uh, about my instructional videos. One way I keep myself in the studio and I can buy clay to work with and pay for the internet to put the uh, videos that I shoot on to the web is through my sales of my uh, instructional videos. Um, if you're so inclined, uh, check the link below this video uh, where I have a review of all nine of my current instructional videos and uh, see if you possibly find anything interesting there. Um, I pretty much give you my over 50 years of experience in sculpting and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd uh, consider purchasing one or two or even all of my videos. Um, they're streaming online on Vimo, and uh, you need a passcode to see them. But that works forever as long as you have that passcode and the link. So please uh, consider that, and let's get busy on sculpting now. End of promotion. I'm using my potato, potato smasher to uh, straighten out the wire. I gotta have it straight so I can make my armature. All right, I'm almost an hour into this already and I'm just getting to the arms of the male. I haven't even started the female yet. So I don't think I'm gonna get very far today as far as the armature goes. It takes time. You're Sculpture really depends on how good you make your armature. If you are off on the armature as far as proportions go, it kills your sculpture altogether. You've got to have your proportions perfect. Um, not everybody's perfect in proportion. And you could sculpt somebody the way they really are um, there are some people who are squat in stature, some people who are long in stature. And that's fine if they're a well-known figure and, they're, and you're sculpting an exact portrait of them. But when you're sculpting a pair of figures that uh, you want to have people purchase, you uh, really have to pay attention to the uh, proportions set down by the Greeks thousands of years ago. It's, it hits people unconsciously that you know, when they look at something, they, can, they don't know why it doesn't look right, but they know it doesn't look right. And so um, they have a tendency not to purchase something that uh, doesn't look right.
All right, I got the uh, nail armature done and uh, started putting clay on it. Um, it's taken me, what time is it? Echo, what time is it? It's 4.18 p.m. It's taken me almost four and a half, one and a half hours just to make this figure. <laughs> it's time consuming, but it's worth it if you do it right. All right, I've got both armatures made. This is the female, this is the male. His shoulders are wider than her shoulders. She's a little bit smaller than he is. And um, you really have to have a good armature as a basis for any sculpture that you do, animal or human. All right. Good night, everybody, and I'll uh, see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.